Hi, I'm Carrie from Penny Modern, and today I'm going to tell you all about bedroom accent walls, how to get them, and I'm going to give you tons of different inspiration on how to make the bedroom of your dreams. And I'm going to cover things like paint, um, wallpaper, also statement headboards, and then wall treatments, which is my personal favorite, and I've added it at the very end. So in the meantime, I would love it if you hit the like button. If you end up liking this video, it'll help other people just like you find it. And then also, if you want to hit the subscribe button, I will be able to notify you and the little bell for notifications. It will notify you as soon as I drop my next video. And all my videos are about home decor tips, easy DIYs, and home product reviews to help you make your home beautiful on a budget you can afford. So let's do this. So you might be thinking, Carrie, why do I even need a bedroom accent wall? Like, what are you even talking about? So um, the reason why you would want to make an accent wall in your bedroom, it, there's a lot of reasons, but a lot of it is a place to draw your eye. It's a place where when you walk into the room, that's like the first thing that you look at, and it's usually the thing you want to emphasize the most. I'd say in general, a lot of times it's usually the wall that the bed is on that usually happens to be the accent wall. So if you're not sure which wall to pick, pick that one. Um, the other option is always if you have a really stunning view. So say you have really big windows and you have a beautiful view, that could be another area that you would want to emphasize. But I'd say for bedroom, most of the time it's where the bed is. Um, and it's also, it's going to make your, your room look more symmetrical. It's going to make it look more interesting. And then it also will basically um, make the room look bigger if you use kind of a vertical um, accent to your wall or maybe use some kind of wall treatment that draws the eye up, it'll actually make your room look taller. So those are some of the reasons why you would want to use um, an accent wall in your bedroom. things first, I wanted to tell you guys all about how to use wallpaper to create an accent wall. So this is a super easy way to make a really great statement. And, and what I love about wallpaper is if you use the peel and stick variety, you can actually change it up. Like sometimes wallpaper can get out of style. And so if you use peel and stick wallpaper, it'll, it'll um, allow you to change it if it becomes out of style. So I really like that because regular wallpaper can be really awful to remove. Um, so I recommend the peel and stick variety. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think it's totally worth it if you're gonna be staying in the house like a really long time. So let's, let's get started and look at all the awesome pictures I found that show wallpaper um, just on that main wall with the bed um, as an accent wall. So, paint is up next. Paint is one of the cheapest and easiest ways to create an accent wall in your bedroom. And what I love about it is you don't have to paint the whole room, which can be a little overwhelming. You can just paint one wall. So um, I'm going to show you a bunch of ideas on people that just use paint for the one accent wall. It's usually a darker color and then the rest of the room is lighter. Um, and what's great about that too, it's super easy to change. So if you get sick of it and you want to make over your room, like in a couple of years, or maybe it's every five years, it's really easy to just paint one wall. Um, so I highly recommend it. And then also I saw one accent that I'll, sh I'll start with that they actually use paint behind the bed to kind of create this arch that creates an accent without creating the entire wall. So that's another great idea, just using paint for, for making an accent behind the bed.
next up is statement headboards. This is pretty easy to do because all you have to do is buy a headboard. <laughs> you don't have to do any painting, you don't have to do any taping or any, anything like that. Um, no nails. Um, you can just go buy a headboard. And what I love about this, so really making a statement, he, statement headboard in the focal point is it's going to be oversized, right? So it either needs to be really, really tall or maybe it's really, really wide. And that way it kind of creates this visual statement on the wall like oh this is a huge headboard um, and it'll draw your eye there and it'll kind of create your accent wall so um, let's look at the, all the pictures i found that show statement headboards as a way to create an accent wall All right, so next up is artwork. And this one is really awesome because you can use really large size artwork, which can be a little bit more expensive, or you can use smaller artwork. And if you get a lot of it and make like a gallery wall, or maybe you add baskets and artwork and create an interesting kind of um, display of different things that mean something to you, um, it can have a huge visual impact and create an accent wall. So let's review all the different ideas. And I have a lot of them for making an accent wall using art. So next up is all about wall treatments. And this is probably my favorite um, way to make an accent wall. And I saw everything from using kind of a suede or velvety material to wooden slats, um, tiles, like kind of people had put tiles on their, on their wall to create a really beautiful um, and unique look. And so um, one of the things, one of the tips I will give you is if you use anything that creates kind of a vertical up and down texture or line, it's gonna help make your room look taller and bigger and more grand. So that might be a really good way to create an accent wall that's also gonna give your, your room more height and more kind of grandness. Um, so let's roll those clips and then I'll see you on the other side. So what did you guys think of all those ideas for accent walls in your bedroom? I hope you are as excited as I am because um, I think there's so many new ideas and, and ways to make your bedroom look great and do a little bedroom makeover um, and just add, maybe you don't want to redo your whole room. Maybe you just want to add an accent wall and it's going to totally change how everything looks. So I hope this really inspired you to create a space that you love being in and make sure if you like it, 
hit the like button if you like my video and then also hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications and that way you'll get notified of my next videos which are all about um, home decor tips um, easy diys as well as home product reviews to help you make your home beautiful on a budget you can afford until next time bye